the SAF has rolled out its new load bearing system, or LBS, an enhanced version of its current integrated load bearing vest. Now, the LBS has better weight distribution and heat dissipation, meaning soldiers can last longer on the battlefield. The LBS is also designed to be highly adjustable to the soldier's body size. It will be given to full-time national servicemen. Starting off, recruits will only get the belt component of the LBS during BMT. I'm going to show you how to put it on. It's like a school bag kind of thing. And then you attach it, the buckle around the waist. This is a totally new concept from the ILBV actually, and it focuses the weight on your hips instead of your shoulders. So it's uh, more comfortable. And then you will get um, one of these two uh, variations of the LBS, depending on the unit you are posted to. If you are posted to a combat unit, you will get the enhanced vest, which comes with a detachable body armor carrier which can be removed for better heat dissipation and depending on the mission, the holes here give the dissipation. If you're posted to a combat service support or combat support unit, you will get the standard vest, which comes together with the body armor carrier here. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how to put on the enhanced vest. It is a little different from the current ILBV. Uh, there are some different locking mechanisms here. But anyway, so what you do is you take out the belly band first, and then you put it on. The belly band goes up first. It has to go on your sternum and fit snugly. Then you pull the sides of the, the main belt panel here. Just slide it in. Yep. There's a clicking mechanism for a lock. And the left side as well. Yep. I have to admit that it takes a bit longer than what I'm used to on the ILBV, but as with any new equipment, you would take some time to getting used to it. Because uh, I'm told that it takes the same amount of time to put on as the ILBV. And also the jettison system is uh, the same way that you take it on and off, so there's no different parts for the jettison. You just pull it upwards and down as well. Last but not least, the SAF is also introducing a new helmet with a high cut design, which is uh, designed to be more comfortable because it's lighter and can also be integrated with various uh, equipment like night vision and headsets.